All right, DTube, Steam it, I'm back. Here is Holger Markgraf at Holger Werner. Yeah, as you rightly notice, I'm not on my way to Paris, I'm back home. I had to stop my experiment and I want to tell you the lessons I've learned from that. Was it a... Um, Failure? No, I don't think it was a failure. It was a very important lessons of my lesson of my life, and if I didn't do it, if I didn't had done this experiment, I wouldn't be the same. So, let me start from the beginning. I wanted to go to Paris. No. No, my intention was to radically let go of everything, everything that holds me back in my progress, in my um, success, in my development, in what kind of a... And I asked the universe to give me a hint to... Well, the question was, please help me. How can I let go radically? What can I do? And the universe answered next morning and said, go west. Go west! But the ego, you know, the ego always wants to, always wants to be, to prove something. So the ego said, Oh, wow, yeah, go west, but walk barefoot, go to Paris, or even more, go to the Atlantic Ocean barefoot and without money, so you can prove the others how great you are and how awesome person you are. That was the ego, yeah? And on my way, you can, on your way, you can uh, assemble some followers. So that was the first important lessons I've learned to distinguish the voice of the ego from the voice of the heart. The heart said, go west. The ego said, go barefoot, go without money, and go to Paris. In German, we have no differentiation between selfish and egoistic. The ego is egoistic. But the heart is purely selfish. It represents our higher self, our, our inner nature, our connection with God, with the universe, with eternal forces, the source energy, however you might call it. And that's that's why the heart is pure love, pure 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 energetic energy and only wants to do good and the ego wants to um to to stand off from others. So I listened to the ego and that was my mistake because otherwise I would have realized that going barefoot without money to Paris wouldn't serve anybody except my ego. So I walking um meditating at the at the Sokagaka International Germany where I chanted the Namyo Renge Kyo while meditating and chanting, while walking and creating this last video, I realized, okay, uh, that's absolutely bullshit what you're doing that. Uh, my, my ankles hurted so much, my feet hurt so much. Uh, I carry all this heavy load with me. I wanted to work as a digital nomad on, on my way have internet work on my different projects, my ebook, my podcast, my videos for DTube, all of that. But uh, walking and carrying this load of things, I wasn't able to work at all. And unfortunately, I realized that before it was too late and I came back. And uh, that's the second uh, the second lessons I've learned. You don't you do you don't need to walk far into the distance uh, when the finish line is just outside the door. A simple step is often enough. 
you don't have you don't have to go too far because the goal is often on your way so one step is enough to reach that goal but this step is very important you have to do it so it was good to do this project to do this this experiment and go outside and do whatever i've uh thought is uh, is important to do because i stepped out of my comfort zone and did this first step and got these very useful lessons in my life so it's, it's very important to do this first step the third lessons i've learned is um, when one travels cashless Mm, and with now with no money um it's very it's it's contradictory to to the belief system i have uh, i i am i live in i live in prosperity and abundance and i uh, i can manifest all the things on my way um you know what i mean uh i i thought i can go on my way and manifest everything i want on my way and that's that works well in principle. Yeah, I ate full of. Um, I, I I I saw a bush with uh, blackberries and I ate hand to mouth all I could eat. I came across the Rhine um, without money. Um, I transferred the Rhine, and uh, the guy who who took me up wanted to give me some money so that wouldn't be a problem. I, I denied it because I wanted to travel without money. Only uh, ask for food. I got some food from a from a seller, from a vegetable seller. It was no problem. But um, it's f to think uh, I'm a wanderer without money. I can get something to eat. But it it's contradictory, and cannot fill this vibrational gap from um, bridging the gap, the vibrational field of of abundance. Uh, and and I uh, know uh, bridging the gap between um, not having anything and being in, wanting to be in the state of abundance when you say everyone you, you see on your way uh, sorry I have no money can you please give me some food um, this programs your subconscious mind and you will have no money at all you won't, don't want to have money so why should you have then one uh, i know it's a bit complicated what i what i say uh, uh, but i think you you get the point and uh, the fourth and most important point lesson i've learned is on foot working as a digital nomad is not uh, practical and when you are relying on internet and equipment and have to carry all this on stuff on your back yeah I had don't I don't only had my my sleeping bags, my kitchen with different stuff, uh, my, tr my 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 clothes. No, I had also to carry my MacBook Dinosaur from 2008, which I'm so happy that I can use it. But I couldn't use it on my way because I had no internet, and I had to carry all this on my back. My ankles were hurting, my feet were hurting, and I didn't have the chance to work at all because I was walking or I was looking for a place to stay, or I was looking for some food, no time to work, and no opportunity to have internet access or something like that. So was it a big failure, my, uh, my journey? No, of course not. It was a big success because I've learned these very important and useful lessons in my life. Otherwise, I wouldn't have learned that. So I want to encourage you Whatever your project is, do it. Don't talk too much, just do it, baby, and do whatever you are meant to do and be whatever you're meant to be. Not listening to others who talk bullshit. Do it, baby. Even if you are coming back and see, okay, it was a mistake or it wasn't the right way, you can always turn around. And it's always good to turn around before doing something stupid. So... Do whatever you do, stay steamed, love, unity and abundance to you all and see you in my next video. Bye bye.